Well, we're back with another do-it-yourself video. I've got the sun shining here this morning. In front of the 2016 Model X, we're gonna be changing out the 12 volt battery. So there's two batteries in your Tesla. There's the big high voltage one, and then this smaller one, like all cars have, including gas cars, this is what runs all of your low voltage electronics, the MCU screen and all that good stuff. So we're gonna swap it out. Just got a notification on the dash that it needs to be replaced. So I just swung by my local Tesla service center, picked up a new battery, it's pretty heavy, and uh, we're gonna install it here, so let's get into it. So tools you need for this job, trusty 10 millimeter wrench, a 10 millimeter socket. I use mine on the end of a screw gun. Just make sure it's not, you know, really powerful that you can adjust kind of the amount of impact that it has. And then there are two screws, two bolts that we'll get to eventually uh, surrounding the battery box. Uh, you're gonna need a 13 mil for that one. So those are the only tools you need for this entire job. So let's get into it. All right, so the frunk is emptied out. First thing we're gonna do is remove this weather stripping. I've already peeled it up, but it just peels up pretty easily. The liner here, now there are two clips that I've already undone, but they're right here. They just kind of push down. You can use your thumb or a little pencil or something like that. And they just go into these gray clips on the back of these lights. There's two of them. So just undo both of those. And then you can remove this whole liner. Should just pop up here. Let's see. There we go. So it just comes out like that. And we'll just set this off to the side here. And then inside, you're going to notice that you've got a whole bunch of these 10 millimeter bolts. So we're going to go ahead and get our... Uh, screw gun and remove those. There's a whole bunch of them. So just make sure you get all of them removed. We've got three up here, three down here, two, two, two up on this side, four across the back and two on this side as well. So let's get those removed and then the frunk tub can be lifted out. So we got all of the bolts out and we've removed them from the frunk liner. We're just going to pop off these plastic trim pieces. I always start with the one up top here and then you can do left or right. And we'll do the passenger side here. They just kind of pop out. And kind of just be careful with this guy back here. That should just pop off like that. And that just exposes the outer lip of the front tub so it can lift freely now. So let's go ahead and pop that out. Here we go. All right. And inside, we're going to see the HEPA cabin filter there. So if you do want to change out that filter, now's the time to do it but we need to get in behind it to the 12 volt battery, which is right here. So this guy, thankfully, uh, just pops right out. So we can remove that. So here we are inside the vehicle. We're just gonna put it in service mode. The way you do this is you press and hold on the vehicle logo where it says Model X P100D. This little box pops up and you just type in service. I'll click OK, enter. All right, so we got the vehicle in service mode and we are going to pull the fireman's lockout on the high voltage battery just for safety. So let's go around and do that. So that is this guy right here. We're gonna pull that and that should shut everything down as far as big power is concerned. So we've got that. And then the next thing that'll go is we will disconnect the power from the battery and then we'll be able to work, uh, get everything done here safely. We've loosened off the positive and we're just going to loosen off the negative here as well so we can pop those terminals off. So let's get that done. So this guy is a little bit in the way, so we're just going to undo these two 10 mil bolts down the bottom here. There we go. Get that one by hand. Perfect. Put them in a safe place. There we go. So that should loosen things up. This is just the drain hose here on the battery. So we're going to pop that off and this should move forward because we've got the, yeah, that screw is out up on top. Just going to give us a little more clearance underneath here. We're going to pull off these leads and, uh, and get the battery out here. But before we do that, we've got to back off this nut in here. I don't know if you can see that right there. So we got to pull that out so that the battery uh, holder, the box here can come forward. Okay, so we've got the screw, or the, sorry, the nut off the top of that threaded piece there. We're just gonna pull out this bracket, set that up there, and then it should allow us to slide that battery out. So it should come up and out. We just have to disconnect these leads. We'll get this up out of the way and it should just clear when it comes out. Let's see how that goes. All right, so we've got both of the leads off of the posts. And now 
We just have to get this guy kind of up and out of the way. On the back of this unit here, there are two quick disconnects. You just press two fingers on these tabs here and two fingers here and this whole bracket slides right off. So I move that out of the way and we're gonna actually lift this guy up and kind of out of the way like that. And you can see how that gives us the space we need to pull that battery out of there and slide in the new one. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, so as it turns out, you do need to remove these two bolts here. There's one here and one just underneath here. They're 13 millimeters. So let's go ahead and remove them. Okay, so now that we've got those two bolts removed, this thing should rock forward. There we go. Awesome. So this is gonna change the angle for extracting the battery out of the battery box. And as long as this harness stays up here, we should be good to go. So let's give it a try here. Let's grab the handle, tilt it forward and lift. And there we go. The old battery is removed. Look at that. Amazing. Let's get the new one in. All right, so here is the new battery. Let's put it up beside the old one. Looks like it's exactly the same yeah looks to be identical so let's get it in the vehicle here we go all right so let's just drop it in the battery box here there we go there's the new battery sitting in its new home right inside that battery box first thing we're going to do put these two bolts back in right here that we removed to allow this thing to angle out because they're pretty much impossible to get to if you have all this other stuff in front so Let's get the bolted in. Okay, so once you have the uh, battery box bolts back in there, we're gonna put this harness back together, put it back on the mount, get the mount uh, mounted back onto uh, these bolts here. There's two here, one here. And uh, yeah, start stitching this thing back together. We're not gonna connect the battery just yet. Just wanna kinda get a lot of this stuff put back into place and then we'll get to the putting the, uh, the clamps on the post there. I should mention that uh, this particular bolt going into the top of the bracket does require a bit of an extension. Okay, so we're just gonna reattach this. It just goes up, over, and down to reattach it to the bracket that we've secured now. So let's just slide those in. There we go. Should hear a little click, which we did. Click, click, one on each side. And this is still free to attach to our positive panel, so that's ready to go. Negative's right there. This is looking good. Let's get the cover back on here. <clears throat> there we go. That is perfect. So that's reattached. Uh, let's see. Next thing, I guess you could have done this earlier or you can do it now. It doesn't really matter. But this is the battery hold down bracket. But it's accessible no matter what you do with this harness. So it's right up in here. We're going to get the little bolt. Pop that on there. So once you get it finger tight, we're just going to give it a couple of half turns here with the, with the spanner wrench. There we go. Just little, just use two fingers. Don't, don't crank on it, okay? That's more than enough there. Perfect. It really is kind of pushing to get hooked on there. So whatever. Let's do that. Little bit of static there when we pop that on. There we go. Just like to use the cap to kind of wiggle that and get it down on there really nice and tight on that post. You can get a screwdriver and spread those clamps out if need be, but I think these are pretty good. Okay, so we got those posts on. Let's get these tightened up. Use our 10 mil spanner here, a little wrench. Good, okay, solid. Pop that back on there. And then we got our little cover for the, for the uh, positive side. So we're gonna kind of hooks over and back that across that red wire and then just kind of snaps down on top. Good, that is tight, that's tight, tight. We also need to attach our drain hose, which is right here. And the spigot is not in the side, so let me grab that. All right, so that was actually still stuck in our old battery. That's that little elbow. So I'm gonna attach it onto here first. Because the putting it on the hose is usually tougher than getting it in the battery, but the, the hole's right there, so we'll get that in there. Nice and snug, perfect, so there we go. Drain hose is set up. The positive and negative. This pack is reattached, the bracket is good. Everything looks good, I think. Uh, actually, the only thing I'm gonna do, and usually whenever I pull the frunk liner is I like to take the shop vac and just kinda clean up any of the dust. It sometimes gets some sand and whatnot in here, so I just like to have it a little tidy. 
So I'll quickly do that and then we'll uh, reassemble the frunk and, and uh, fire this thing up. So the other thing we need to do before we pop the frunk liner back in is we're going to pop back into the high voltage cutoff. It's going to line up those orange lines and clip. There we go. So that should reconnect all our high voltage goodies. We'll give that a minute to get used to itself and we'll put the frunk back together. So one of the things I like to do is go through, start all these 10 millimeter bolts by hand. That way you don't, you don't risk cross threading them when you come around with your screw gun. You also don't want to over torque them. So make sure whatever you're, if you're using a power tool, set it to a very weak setting. So we've got the liner back in. So we get the liner back in here and we're just reattaching these puddle lamps that are inside the front. So that is done. Okay, so we've got everything hooked up. Just getting inside the Model X now. We are still in service mode. So everything turned back on automatically. That is great news. We're still in service mode here. It looks like kind of everything is normal. Now let's see. Okay, we got a software update that's due. There we go. Just exited service mode. The warning. Let's uh, see here. There we go. So car is off. We just throw it in drive, park. The warning to replace the 12 volt battery is gone, baby. We are back in business. Brand new 12 volt, completely installed. So there we go, we're all done. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, it's just something you can do that is not super complicated, really only a couple of tools required. And, you know, just an easy walkthrough of a video that can save you, you know, I, I don't know, is it like 80 bucks, 100 bucks of labor? So. Hey, every little bit helps. Plus it's good to know, you know, as far as how to do this type of stuff and how to maintain electric vehicles. A lot of people think that they're overly complicated and that they're completely different from gas vehicles when in fact gas vehicles have a 12 volt battery too and it needs to be replaced as well. So I'm glad you joined us in this video. Guys, we'll see you in the next video.